Welcome to this Eversys Academy video. And in this video, we're exploring ETC, or Extraction Time Control. And this is right at the heart of Eversys technology across all the machines, enabling us to produce incredibly consistent espresso and coffee drinks for your whole service. So we're gonna start looking at the Cameo. And before we go into the settings, we'll just check these product images. And what you'll see is that some of the products have a clock icon on top of the grinder. And this is telling us that we're using ETC and the color of the hopper, the one that's highlighted, is telling us which hopper or which blend is being used. So here we have a green left-hand hopper with a clock on it, which means that the left-hand hopper using ETC is at the heart of this drink. And when you see it on multiple drinks, like this espresso and this cappuccino, that means that the cappuccino is using the same ETC recipe. If we go into the menu, we have products and keys, which is where we set the parameters of the drinks, but directly under we have beans and grinder. And that's really where we're gonna impact flavor and the ETC settings. You can see names of the hoppers, so left and right. We have some other options, but we can also see that ETC, extraction time control, is set for the left at 15 seconds and for the right on 23. That's because in this case, I've used the same blend. I've got one grinder set for single espresso drinks and one grinder set for double espresso drinks but you could also have two blends there in your machine, each one with its own ETC. You're gonna choose the most important product for your business for that grinder and set the ETC up based on that product recipe. So it's really important that whatever is at the heart of the majority of your drinks, that's where you use the full functionality of the machine. So to make adjustments to the ETC, we're gonna use the ETC configuration button, which is at the bottom. And that's gonna take us through a journey that automates the whole process. It's gonna start off with what we call a flow rate check, which is gonna make sure the water's moving through the machine correctly, measure the speed of that water, which may impact the extraction. So all we need to do is push the rinse button in the center that allows the machine to perform these tests. So you're gonna see some rinse cycles going. Through all of this process, we're just gonna let the liquid go straight into the drip tray. It's gonna go back into our waste. It means we're not making any cups dirty, we're not creating additional waste. We'll just let the machine do its thing. And this whole system is designed around you doing very little, so you can be doing other things at the same time. You don't need to stand next to the machine, you just need to check in each time it needs the next step. So we've checked the system flow rate and the nozzle flow rate. The arrow is highlighted and it tells us to push the arrow to continue. And then we're at our configuration screen. You can see on the right hand side, there's an icon showing the different grinders, the different hoppers, and one of them will be highlighted. So in this case, it's the left-hand hopper, and there will be a button highlighted in this small version of our main screen, which is the product that we're setting this ETC recipe around. And we could choose any of our products, but we're using the single espresso in this case. Once I've selected that product, we can also see the product parameters that are there from the products and keys menu. We can see those in here and we can make adjustments if we need to. So I'm just gonna push the arrow to the right because this is the drink that I want to base everything off of. And then we've got a big number here, which is our preferred extraction time. So here we've got 15 seconds plus and minus three seconds. And that's gonna be the goal recipe for this coffee. I'm gonna push forward. And then we get to another screen where we have the product key in the center. And to the right, we have automatic mode. We want this to be green and selected because that's gonna tell the machine to just keep brewing espresso until we get to the correct recipe. Again, you can see the hopper highlighted and there's additional information including the grinder information which will tell us if it's making any changes to get to the correct recipe. I'm not gonna put a cup underneath. I'm just gonna make sure the automatic mode is on, push the product key and let the machine do its thing. And you're gonna see in here it run its own rinse cycles. It's gonna begin grinding coffee it's gonna check the product weight, so the powder weight of the coffee or the dose that we've set already in our product recipe. Once it's checked that product weight, it's then gonna move on to brewing the espresso and measuring the time. And they're the two factors that it's controlling to make sure that you get consistent coffee quality. We can see the espresso pouring now. We can see the timer so we can see what's happening. And we'll see whether the machine thinks it's correct and matched the recipe that we set or whether it wants to make any further changes. 
We're gonna wait for the number to change and come up either red or green. In this case, it's 11.6 seconds. So it's just shy of the recipe that we were aiming for. We can see that the dose is 12.1 mils. That's our cake thickness that we'll have set again in the espresso calibration step. And if you want to know more about that, please go to the other video in this series. So the powder quantity was correct. The brewing time wasn't. The machine knows that it needs to grind finer to achieve the correct recipe. So it's making that adjustment itself. It's gonna rinse, and then it's gonna brew another shot following this new recipe. The machine recognizes that, and it's gonna come up with both parameters in green. 14.3 seconds within my recipe, 11.6, so within my dose, and it tells us that the calibration was successful. We can then move on to the next grinder and set a new reference key. In this case, it could be double espresso, it could be a different blend, and we could go through that same process again. And that will complete the product calibrations. And when we come out of the menu, we'll see that all the drinks set up with the same recipe will feature the ETC clock with the correct hopper. Thank you.